<laughs> hey, by the way, I will mention that uh, on our website, howardstern.com, there are many interesting things, but one of them is uh, Eric, the actor, blogs on there, evidently. I just found that out myself. He's, a, uh, he's a frequent guest on the, the uh, radio show that John Lieberman does at 445 every day on Howard 101, and then I guess somehow... I think Jason said to to Eric, the actor, why don't you blog? And so he began blogging. I think he's on Lieberman's show tonight. Are you on tonight, Eric? Yes, I will be. Yeah. It's funny. I, the blog is like, it looks like it's 5,000 pages. Uh-huh. Because he sends it to us, and it's all like, it's like very tightly uh, typed. You know what I mean? And it's, it's dense. It's very closely spaced. Yeah. And if you read it, I mean, if you have the patience to read it, it seems like it, it's like weird. You find weird stuff in there. Like Eric, for example, Eric started talking about God. Mm -hmm. And you know how Eric will not play a gay character? Yes. As an actor. But he's talking on, on here about how gays deserve the same rights as everyone else. And God loves gay people. And God does not exclude people in any way. You're very liberal, but yet you won't play a gay guy. Seems weird right. to me. It's weird. Explain that. I don't know how to explain it, really. But it's you, Eric. You must have some thinking behind this. Hey, you should see this stuff. What keeps people from heaven's gates is being hateful towards your fellow man and not hold love for God and his son in their hearts. I didn't even know you were this religious. Being around gay people is not going to do anything to hurt you in any way. And what about playing a gay person? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so why won't you play a gay person? I don't know. It's just one thing that I choose not to do as an actor. Hmm. Huh. It, it doesn't make any sense at all. Right. And then he has some beef it's, with Benji that he goes into for, for a very long time on this blog. I mean, attempt to read it. I, I guarantee you can't get through. I can't even get through it. I had Jason write a synopsis of what of, of what uh, Eric's talking about. I can't even get through the synopsis. <laughs> what was the awful conversation you had with Benji? Well, I kind of went over it with you yesterday. Benji, what was it again? Because I couldn't take it. It was like so boring. What, what were you guys talking about? I, I have a libertarian viewpoint. Right. I think private businesses should be allowed to discriminate. I don't oh. think it's nice. I think it's wrong morally, but they should be allowed to legally. Okay. And Eric, as most people, as you do, think that's wrong. And what did you do? Did you... No, Eric, I yeah, but made Did it... you think it was right that private businesses didn't serve black people in the South? Did I think it was right? Yeah. No. I think in other that's words, a... a black person would go in... They'd sit down at a counter and ask for a soda, and the guy would spit on them and go, get the fuck out of here, and then use the N-word. It was worse than that, Howard. They weren't allowed to go. You know, if you're walking down the street and you, you're thirsty, there's no store where you can go and get a, a drink of water. That's what I'm saying. So, I, so are you for that? Am I for that? No, I think it's horrible. I would I would boycott. But you, I would, but you but support I think it. it should be their legal right. Wow. There's a lot of things that I don't think are right that I think people should have the right to do. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like that. You, you should be allowed I, to say to a black person, you can't come into my restaurant because you're black? I don't I don't think that's right. Well, listen, I'm sure you believe in certain forms of discrimination. I do? I, I would think so. You 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 don't have as... I think if whatever one person gets to Are do... Are you okay with single-sex schools? Single-sex schools? Sure. I yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Is that discrimination? No. No, because as long as you can have single-sex schools for both women and men. So separate but equal is okay with you? No, no, they're no, also co-ed okay. schools. As long as you have, you all have options. a choice. Yeah. In other words, if I, I know what you're saying. Like you could say, hey, well, you can go to some restaurants, but you can't go to others. You know, I hear what you're saying. I don't think it's right. I think it's horrible. I don't like racist people. I don't like homophobic people. Yeah. I think it's morally very bad. I just don't think it's the government's business. Uh, I don't know. It's oh, that's, that's hardcore. You, I no, because if you leave that all up to the private sector, you're gonna have chaos. How? You know. When I heard someone. Last night, talking about this, one of Arizona state legislator guys, he said that they're doing this for people with religious reason. Our whole country is based on separating church and state. Where did you guys have this argument, by the way? I, I, put a, I put a tweet up 
Yeah. And Eric uh, DM'd me. We follow each other. So direct yeah. And how long yeah. did it go on, this conversation? Just about, uh, like, uh, eight, eight, or, eight or nine lines. Right. And stuff. And because I, this, email, this, this blog that he wrote for us? I, it's very the, the original blog was seven pages. I'm talking tight. Oh, my goodness. But that doesn't and, mean it's not good. It with, be... with almost, no, like, single space. I'm looking at it now. It's a lot. It's fucking crazy. It wow. does a lot. Hey, it I'm going to get to Sam lot. Champion anyway. I want to talk to him. Alex, yeah. please, it does a lot to debunk what people think of me. And then also, so, tonight is second season of Legit on FXX with uh, Drew, Dr. Drew on as the guest. And I will be on there in about nine weeks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Eric's promoting his appearance nine weeks from nine now. Weeks. I'm legit. What is it, Jason? I'll keep that in mind. Marking my calendar yeah. now. I just want to say the way we put his blog, and thank you for doing it, Eric. It is actually, you put a lot of work into it. Yeah. Um, but we, I just put it in the same format that we got it emailed to us so people could see. You what know, it's like. This is the way he this is, about. Right. I didn't make it himself. You know, easier to read or, or yeah, know, anything. Well, you know, by the way, the, officially the Internet it just exploded because <laughs> they ran out of room because Eric's thing is so long. When you get this, do you actually read every line of it? Because you have to, right? Yeah, I printed it out. Yeah. And um, I read. How long did it take you to get through it? Um, the whole first segment of the show. So the first hour of the show. Wow. I was reading and highlighting. Wow. <laughs> and I had to put, you know, he doesn't say anything bad in there, but I definitely put a disclaimer that these are Eric's opinions and not ours. Is there anything in there that would shock us? Yeah, he had a weird line about. Um, Oh crap! I can't. Re oh yeah, he 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 attacked Scientology at some point. He called Scientology a fake religion. Um, why is that, why are they a fake religion and every other religion is real? Because it, it, just the way everything sounds when you listen to the people that have left the, the religion, like yeah. But you're uh, religious. You think your religion sounds any more normal than theirs? Scientology is wacky, I'll give you that, but so is your religion. It doesn't matter what it, sounds, it is. It sounds more cult-based than anything. Hope? Or just, cult. Oh, cult-based. Just ask Leah. You, you don't think the cult ask, of Jesus is a, a cult? Just ask Leah Remini. All right. Hey, Eric, i got to go anyway. i got to talk to Sam have, Champion. Have you come up with a good way to um, <laughs> replace our TV? I got no. I got to go. Okay. <laughs> He's got an eye. He's Look got an idea. The WWE Network. That right. might be a good idea to do it. All right. Guys. Thank you. All right. Later. Our... <laughs> Let me worry about Howard TV. <laughs> anyway, go read his blog. See how far. He's make a game of it. Even if you get drunk, see how far you can get in it. Uh, I don't think you get more than five lines before you go, fuck this. I got better things to do. Eric really thinks somebody has time to read seven pages of his ideas? Well, we asked him to write a blog, and he went, he, he, he blogged went crazy, out. Yeah. He went blog mad. It looks like he emptied every thought onto paper <laughs> that he ever had. All right, we'll be back with.